Hello guys, welcome to codersart.com. In the PySpark tutorial series of previous video, we have performed some basic data analysis operation with PySpark on Titanic dataset. In this video, we are going to perform some advanced level data exploration. So let's start. In the previous video, I have shown you how to load CSV data files in Spark data frame. Now in this video, first of all, we are going to see how to create Spark data frame in different ways. So start. To create a data frame, first of all, we import the libraries. We require this library while creating the data frame. For data column. Now I am creating the data frame. Here I am adding student information like uh, roll number, student name and date of admission. I am copying this row. Now I am running this cell. It is successfully run now. We can see the data set using df.show. Here. Now, here I am going to create a spec, uh, Spark data frame with an explicit schema. So let's see how to create. Now here I am copying this code. Here I'm remove the column names. Now here I am adding schema after square bracket. Then I am data type also.
in this cell now it is successfully run see this is the another way to create a spark data frame now we will see how to create a spark data frame with rdd so let's create rdd first Now I am copying this data as it is. Now already is created. Now here I am creating the data frame. schema date of admission displaying the data here I am creating the data frame with RDD we can save this data set in CSV file using write operation let's see Here I am adding the path. Now running this cell. It is successfully saved data at this location. Then I'm changing the extension dot parquet. It 
we successfully save in packet file. Same. We can save the data also in ORC file. Just type here ORC here. PySpark data frame also provide a way of handling group data by using the common approach. So split apply a uh, combined strategy. It group the data by a certain condition applies a function to each group and then combines that them back to the data frame. Let's see how to use group by function in PySpark. We have Titanic data set. Now we will use this data set to show you how to explore the data with group by function. Now here I am reading this data set. There are 12 columns in the data set passenger ID, survey, P class, name, gender, age, pass, ticket, fare, etc. So here I am use group by function on gender column. It will create the group of male and female and calculate the average for both to all columns. Here I put the column name. If I want to only fair column average value, then I am set here fair. DataFrame and Spark SQL share the same execution engine so they can be interchangeably used seamlessly. For example, you can register the data frame as a table and run a SQL easily. Now we can explore the data set using SQL query. Here I am write the SQL query for extract the data set. Sorry guys this is not We can see the data. I'm extracting this data set using SQL queries. So, guys, that's it for today. We will see some other task in the next video. Thank you.